Okay, guys, in this video, let's see if we can address some of these potential uh, permissions problems that we're having. Uh, there's, there's really two uh, most prominent types of issues that you can have trying to um, access your index.html via a web browser. One of them is uh, file not found, which means um, your, your index file is not in um, your public underscore HTML direct directory. Um, and in, in all cases, when, when we come across that, that's, that's what it means. It means the web server can't find the file where you say it is. So to solve that kind of a problem, typically we're going to have to make sure we know where our file is and that we're directing the web browser to go to the right place. Um, the other type is uh, permission denied. And that's the type of error that I think most of you at this point are having. I believe the other kind of error is something that we'll have, we'll see more in the future. But for right now, it's just permission denied. So let's kind of look at um, what could be causing the permission denied error or, or and how to fix it. So I jumped onto my putty here. I logged into Copeland. I logged in already, as you can see, and I'm currently in putty. That I'm on Copeland. So I'll go ahead and kind of walk through this whole thing again, since we're all kind of early. So you see that I am logged in into my, my home directory. In my home directory is public underscore HTML. See it right here, right? I'll cd into public H underscore HTML. Okay, we'll do an ls. There's my index.html sitting right there. So the assumption at the moment here is that you have an index, number one, you have an index.html file. If not, the, you'll want to see the uh, one of the previous videos where we uh, learned to use Pico and build the HTML file here, the index.html file. Um, and then the, the video after that is how to connect with the index.html file with or using um, a web client, uh, also known as a web browser, something like Chrome or Safari or something like that. And so the assumption at that point is that you received some sort of uh, a permission denied area, error. He, he, yeah, uh, and, that's, and that is, by the way, that's Apache saying that uh, it didn't have permission to grab the file that you want to see. Now, you didn't explicitly state, hold on a second here, you didn't explicitly state that you wanted to see the index.html file. What happened was, uh, by default, if you don't specify a file name, like index.html, uh, when you when you request a file in the browser, uh, the web server will just return, it'll look for and return um, any anytime it can find a, a file called index.html. So that name is kind of special in that way. It allows the web browser to have, uh, the, the web server, to have uh, a default file that it will always send out to the web client, any browser. So let's jump back over here. Um, we're gonna look at permissions. So I actually, I did an ls there, but I really wanna do an ls negative l so that I can see what the permissions are on index.html. So what you want here is to have these permissions now the permissions, the very first character here is not a permission. It just indicates, I think we've mentioned a, number, a couple of times, but I'll remind, uh, whether or not this file or folder name is a file or a folder. So if there's a D, then index.html is a directory, or also known as a folder. If there's no D, then it must be a file, and that's what we need it to be. It needs to be a file. If in fact there's a D there, then you must have created it with MKDIR rather than with Pico. So you'll want to delete your index.html if it's in fact a directory and not a file. So we can talk to, about that one-on-one -on -one, or you can figure it out on your own, uh, but we'll cross that bridge if we come to it. 
Um, currently, this is what you want to see, starting with that first R all the way to the left. So if you do not have that, uh, then we're going to have to change the permissions. So what we, the command for changing the, the permissions is chmod. So it'll be chmod, the permission set, and then the file name. So it's the command and two arguments. So the num and, and the, the the permission set, or I just call them permissions, uh, is three digits is a three digit number, and in this case it's six four four. So I'll do six four four, and then index i n d e x dot html. Okay, and enter and. I didn't see anything come back. That doesn't mean that nothing happened. Um, the fact of the matter is, in my case, it was already 644, so if I do an ls negative L, you see that nothing actually got changed on mine. I changed it to exactly what it was before. All right, it was index, here it is. Where is it? Right here, here it is. That's what it was before, and that's what it is now. It's the same thing. So it's not that really that nothing happened, it's that um, the same thing happened as what before, so you see no change. Now, if you do that, if, if in fact your permissions were not correct, and now they are, um, now try with your browser again. Do a refresh in your browser and see if you still get the permission that I did. If you do, then what it means is that somewhere up the chain, let's see, let me, let me do this, pwd, enter. If this is not where the permission problem is on public HTML, then maybe it's here. Maybe the problem is here. Well, we didn't even check this. We checked index.html, which is a file inside of the folder public HTML. So we know this is correct. Has the permission set correctly. But we don't know if this does. And if it doesn't, then the web browser wouldn't be able to get into the folder in which index.html lives. So in order to see the permissions on this directory, we need to be one above it so that I can do an ls negative l and see the contents of this directory include this directory, right? And the negative l will tell me the permissions. So cd space dot dot. Enter ls negative l, and I see there's public HTML right here. My, my, well, I'm only gonna say my, my pwd is my home directory, right? Because so, I did cd dot dot that put me here. Um, public HTML is what we're the folder, this directory here. So there's a d to the left, uh, the leftmost to the left of the permissions. There's a d. So public underscore HTML is a directory, and the permissions that we want on that folder, that directory, are these. So now, if they are not correct on yours, then do ch, we want to change them, right? Then I just push them there. chmod755. Space, and then public underscore HTML. Enter. Again, I, I, it appears nothing happened on my end, but it did. I just didn't get an error. I didn't get a response because there was no error. Um, and if we did an uh, ls negative l, we'll see that nothing changed. It's the same here as it is here. So in my case, because it was already set properly, we don't see a change. If yours was not set like this originally, now it should be when you do an ls negative l. Okay, then back over to your web browser, do a refresh. I would hold the control down and click refresh and see if the permissions problem goes away. If it doesn't, then, let me be real quick, then maybe the problem is, we got. I have to assume that it, the problem is that my home directory does not allow or permit uh, Apache to go into it. 
So if it can't get in my home directory, then it can't get in public HTML and it can't get index.html. So as you probably can tell at this point, we're, we're just stepping up, 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 further out, further out, further out, making sure the permissions the whole way up through the chain are all um, set, allowing Apache to get in. So I'll need to go up one again cd space dot dot and so now my pwd will be of my case it'll be 17. all right i'll do an ls negative l there's a bunch of files in here a bunch of folders uh, so what i'm going to do to make this a little easier on myself is i'll just look up here and find my username alternatively you could try to find your file name if you know that number i could have looked for that and they are in order so that might in fact, be an easier way. They are in sequential order. Uh, but in any case, either way, and so you see my permissions, that is a, a folder, it's my home directory, right? So there's a D there on the left, and my permissions look like that. Yours should as well. And that is 755. So if yours are not, do not look like that, then you would chmod 755 space, and then the name of the folder file or folder, um, which in my case is this right here, 06127, 06127, let me just make sure I didn't mess anything up, or I'm gonna, I won't be able to change the, per, the permissions on someone else's directory, but, oh, so there we go, oh, I didn't type something right here. Zero six seven two seven. I typed in. I don't believe that's what I was supposed to type. Zero six one two seven. I was. So you see, I made an error. Now I'll use the up arrow key on Bash uh, so that I can I can pull the the command from Bash history. Seven six. I'll just go over and change that seven to a one. Enter, and there is my file. Ls negative l. If yours was incorrect, you should now, when you do an ls negative l and you look at it, you should see that. All right. So I let me come back over here. So I think that should solve. I, I believe it'll solve all of our um, permissions errors. If not. We're, it's something that we'll, we'll want to work with, I guess, in, in, during class, um, during our Zoom meeting, so that I, I can kind of get a feel for what is precisely going on with yours. This is a general idea here. Uh, uh, generally, that's what's going to be wrong. One of those things. One of those, fi the file or one of those folders doesn't have the permission set properly is, is what, what's happening to you. So hopefully it's fixed now. At this point, I don't know if I mentioned it. Did I? I forgot. No, uh, you, you'll want to refresh the browser again. Of course, we want to try it and, and hopefully it's solved right there. If it hasn't been solved already, it's solved now. If not, let's talk about it further in class and figure out what is going on with yours. So that will do it for us on this one.